What's up, dudes and dudes? It's in the air, and my name's Seth, and we are back here for some more No Man's Sky. Blah, beautiful new system that we're in. It's all green and gross. I, JK, I actually really like it. And this plane is really cool, too. Ooh, traitors! Let's rob them! Space Pirate, Scythe on the case. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Oh my goodness gracious, they are so fast. They're cheating speed. We can't even catch them. We can't even catch them. Anyways, I would appreciate it, folks, if you would hit that like button for me. Helps me out more than you know. Uh, we are going to check out quite a few things today. There's gold on this planet. Gold! Hey! And uh, I farmed up a thousand gold so that now we pretty much have everything outside of Iridium is the one resource that we desperately need out of everything. Ooh! That's a new bodied ship. I've never seen anything like that. Watch it end up being better than the one we just spent like two million dollars on. <laughs> oh boy. But, uh, oh yeah, this is a different, um... I've never seen this flag before. Maybe we have and I just never noticed. Uh, so far, I haven't ended up running into any new blueprints, though. We might have the best that we can get, uh, at least for this earlier stage in the game. All right, let's check this out. Please don't end up having more inventory. 25 slots. Could have gotten that one for free, but look at all the things that would need repaired out of it. Yeesh, no thank you. Um, so we ended up coming to this new system right now. My goal is kind of uh, going to the center of the galaxy We're gonna start focusing most of our attention on doing that It's hard to tell just how long ago this craft crashed here uh, The pilots reptilian body oh, the reptilian draconis looked them up is fully decomposed and the technology looks dated the pilots skeleton hand <laughs> Skeletal hand is clutching something. Uh, I go to investigate but a noise from the cargo hold distracts me I've ran into something very similar to this before. The cargo hold is probably just gonna end up being some bats, so let's actually grab out of the pilot's hand. Uh, I find a hollow locked that projects the image of a life form that was perhaps the pilot's mate. This, however, was only... I don't know what's happened, but okay, we got a new jetpack! Oh, yeah, so we need Omegon. Good luck with that. Hey, hey. Give me that. What you got, Uggles? Give me the special item. No, I don't want to talk to the ship. I want to grab the item. Can we not grab it? There we go. Yeah. Okay, we already have that, so that's useless as well. You know what? Please just stand perfectly still so that my inaccurate gun can hit you. All right, we need some of those. We, JK, we don't really need them. So we killed all the sentinels, and that means we got them deactivated. So before we end up hopping off of this beautiful rock, because although, although it is an amazing planet, and I absolutely love it, like, look at it, it's beautiful, it does have water, which is great. Inventory slot! I haven't seen one of these in a million years. Although it's beautiful and everything like that, I really want to get out of here. I want to start getting to the center of the galaxy just so that we can start getting some of the uh, resources that we were probably supposed to have gotten a very long time ago. I don't know. Wow, that's cheap. I don't know how or why or what, but I do know that we get the Atlas Pass from uh, the main quest, which the main quest is center of the galaxy stuff, right? So I want to get my hands on that stuff because then we could end up getting even more supplies and robbing a bunch of people. Even if we end up, uh, I'm not saying that we're necessarily going to rush the main quest or anything, but I'm assuming that's where most of the interesting bits are outside of just planet exploration. Um, but I want to go and check out this monolith before we end up getting off of this rock. Such a beautiful planet though, man. Like, I absolutely love it. Looks like we generated this underwater. Hmm. I need to try and land a little bit on the ground down here then. There we go. Perfect. Because otherwise we would have had to jetpack our way all the way up to the top and that just was not going to end up happening. Like, seriously. Okay. So, where is this generated? I haven't seen any fish around or anything like that either, despite the fact that the game keeps implying that there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff around, there isn't. Like even in the middle of the night, it's still got the same monstrous noises going on, echoing throughout my head, and then it's like, rip, there's actually nothing around. 
Okay, so uh, hopefully we're not like drowning as we're looking at this thing. Uh, touch the obelisk, blah, blah, blah. Same old stuff that it's always said. It's trying to tell me, desperate to escape. Um, the Corvax knowledge became ours. The Corvax technology became ours. The Corvax became ours. They serve as an example of our boundless power and mercy. Interesting. I wonder whether or not, like, is, is the Corvax going to end up coming into play? I don't know. And even if you know, folks, don't spoil anything because I still am very, very interested to explore it all myself. Now, that's one thing that I have noticed. Even though I love the underwater, I really, really do. Doesn't seem like it's, uh, like, you're, you're just so slow in the ocean, you know? And the swimming in general, like, it, we kind of just bob our head like this, even though I'm aiming straight up, and he should be kind of coming out of the water and uh, just swimming, but... Hey, whatever. You know? It's still, it's still absolutely awesome, and I love it, don't get me wrong. But I'm, uh... I'm getting used to things, let's say that. So, should we check out how far away are these other ships? So we got that one, which is six minutes away. And this one's another six minutes away. What if we're using our boost? Ah, around a minute 30. Well, I guess we'll check out these last crash ships. Then we'll end up uh, getting off of the planet, okay? So I'm going to go over here and let you know if I run into anything interesting. All right, we're coming up on it right now, folks. Also, I think I forgot. Um, but yeah, we're going to be naming a couple things based on your suggestions. And if you have anything that you want to get named uh, in one of the videos eventually, be sure to leave it down in the comment section down below. I, I hope I said that at the beginning, but I honestly forget. Okay, so let's check it out. Looks like the same type of crash ship. Oh no, it's actually a different one. Okay, I saw these guys in the uh, space station. And they ended up having, I think it was like... Oh, this one's actually got 25 slots, a lot of broken parts on it. Yeesh! These ships would end up being quite tedious to end up uh, fixing, wouldn't they? Under a large ceiling pipe lies the decayed body of the pilot. Um, and beneath it, I noticed the sharp glint of metal. The control panel still hums with life, but upon closer inspection, the thrusters prove inoperable. The life form could have been trapped alone on this planet for years. Okay, search the databanks for tech, or check its body for some resources that's gonna be metal. Let's do it! It's gonna be a multi-tool or something! <gasps> multi-tool tech. What is it, though? Garbage. <laughs> we also took damage for some reason. Then again, I didn't necessarily read what we just did. <gasps> More tech that we already know. Okay, so let's see if this other one, like, I I'm hoping that the other ship right over there... Is that nearby? Ugh. We kind of went in a little bit of the opposite direction, didn't we? And then there's another little point of interest right here that I want to check out, just in case it's extra inventory slots. Well, it is a base. We should probably check it out. But you know what? That's okay. We don't need to. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. We still need iridium. <laughs> we really, really do, man. Ooh, beautiful. Can you please stop? Like, I don't know what's going on with this hunk of bolts, but it really likes to turn every which way while we're flying around. Okay, so how long is it going to take to get to this planet? Just a minute, okay. Uh, and then there's actually, ooh, this one might take a little less time, though. Hostile subspace, what? Where? I want to fight other space pirates. Bring it! Oh my goodness gracious, there's so many of them! Okay, we're gonna die. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for being a space pirate, huh? You guys are cheating strong. Jeez Louise, they're strong. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat them. Ay 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 ay. Nope, we're dead. Because they're just following me to the ends of the other. I still really do not like space combat. Like, I really, really don't. It's just it's so useless to me. Alright, can we can we craft our way through this meteor? Yeah, let's do it. Let's ditch them. 
screen on, guys! Yeah! Okay, never mind. They're gonna end up killing us anyways. Shield down. It doesn't matter what I do. I can't evade them because they're AI, so they just automatically kill us. Well, let's go down to the planet then. Attack ships remaining. Protect your cargo. Does that mean they're gonna actually steal it from me? Because that's not gonna be good. I know critical damage has been taken. I can't escape though. Well, I guess we may as well try and fight back. The other thing too that's so cheap about these other ships, uh, I really don't like it, is the fact that they don't have to be aiming at us in order to actually shoot at us. Like they can be strafing beside us and shooting us. It's not fair, I don't like it. I really, really don't. Death by ship combat, generation three. Yep, all right, well, whatever. Anyways, let's see if we can get ourselves some dynamic resonators and get on out of here. I guess that's gonna force us to craft ourselves some stronger weapons so that we hopefully... An abandoned starship? I've never seen that before. Huh, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, we're kind of gonna be forced to get ourselves some stronger ship parts for the sake of being able to kill them faster because no matter what, you're always going to be whittled down to nothing very, very quickly. There's only three. Ugh. You're always going to end up getting whittled down to one hit, so it's better to end up having as many shields and as much defensive uh, capabilities as possible so that you can end up taking them out as fast as possible. Because the least amount of time spent in space combat, I think, is uh, kind of the personal, like, I think that's kind of what you're supposed to do, right? So let's get our, ourselves some more thruster fuel. And then I guess I just bought three dynamic resonators. I just bought three of them, but that's cool game. Whatever. I'm going to see what just happened because that was stupid. Yeah, so that was really weird, folks, because I ended up looking back and apparently we did try to buy three of them, but the game only gave us one and didn't end up taking any more money than just buying one of them. Like, that was that was strange. I don't understand. What is this type of planet? So it looks like we got... I'm assuming that's emerald, but it could just be because the planet's very, very green. Oh! <laughs> uh, the other thing, too, that I noticed about those space pirates is the game was really desperately trying to warn us that that was what was going on, uh, giving us ample opportunity to end up Leaving before we could have gotten attacked. What resource is that? Is that even a resource? That up there, I mean. Okay, oh, weather burning. Okay, so it's a volcanic type of planet, huh? Well, then we better move. Extreme! Wow, is that going down quick? Holy cow! Okay, so let's take a peek real, real quick. Is this even a resource or is this just the way that the mountains generated? Yep, that's just the mountains. Okay. Well, then let's go down here and check it out as well. I don't care if we're taking damage. I gotta scan all this junk. Gotta scan some plants because it's been like we haven't had any time lately to uh, kind of scan around and see any of these planets. I mean, I, we will get back to our adventures and discovery for sure, everybody. But as it stands right now, I really want to start making a move. As I boot up the operations terminal, a hologram of a spacecraft uh, going through a catastrophic planetary descent is beamed into my visor. It's clear that it's on an express elevator. Uh, I'm not saying that word. The impact with the planet's surface is made to look Tiny. In truth, the impact crater could be vast. The ship's distress beacon can still be heard. It is encrypted, but if I crack the sequence, blah, 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 blah. It, I see a bunch of ones and stuff. 34? Yay! I, I got it. <laughs> I just take a random shot in the dark with those. Like, seriously, I don't know if there's supposed to be something about it. I also see another crater nearby as well. Okay, how far away are you, you gross outpost? By the way, does that happen to everybody? But uh, as I'm playing this game, I often have the game kick me offline. I don't know why. It's like it's constantly losing connection to their servers. And it's like, 
why like are, are their servers just that unstable is it something to do with my internet like i don't know it's really weird seems to happen just i don't know if it's random or when we end up making a couple discoveries i'm not sure ha ha yeah get wrecked you stupid sentinel oh you have garbage oh. we're gonna get attacked yep we're gonna get attacked okay so let's uh let's get rid of this idiot can we? I want to get rid of him before he discovers us and sends us to the mothership. That did not, that did not disable them. That only angered them more and set up even more alarms. Okay. <laughs> so let's just explore this place nice and quick then. Um, okay. Rip me, because I thought we were going to kill them both and then it was going to be the last of them. Uh, the observatory hums gently. Yeah, so this is the same message. We've got 391. 391, there it is. See, these ones that are just a generic pattern, I understand them very, very easily. But there's just something about those other ones. Maybe it's just how my brain works. I don't know, because uh, certain people's brains end up working better with different puzzles, you know? Ooh. All right. All right. We'll have to check that one out for sure. I don't know if we'll have enough time to check it out today. Uh, let's take a peek. Oh, the Sentinels left us alone. Good. A rock! <laughs> what about this rock? Can we scan this one too? Yep. <laughs> I love this game. What about these little plant things? Ew. Those things are uggles. Alright. Let's take a peek. Where is that ship? Is that thing nearby? Yeah, all right, we have enough time to check this one out before we call it a day. I saw that station next to us. This is such a weird planet, though. I'm guessing that those uh, small rock formations, are those supposed to be kind of similar to um, small volcanic pockets? Maybe. Land, please! There you go. The terrain is definitely clear. Uh -huh. Throw me up into outer space, why don't you? Ooh. All right, so we've ran into one of these ships before. So I'm guessing it's gonna be 25 slots, 27 slots. Ew, that's only one more than ours though, and it's not worth repairing all that junk. All right, so let's grab all this stuff. Inventory full, really? Oh. Uh, let's get our oxygen levels back up. Let's get rid of these radiation things, because we don't really need them, and they're just taking up space right now. Never saw an extreme planet, though. That's pretty cool. So we could get the heat resistance, but honestly speaking, the resistances in this game just go down, like, so quick, man. Uh, clearly down by an attack from a superior vessel, just like we did, too. Um, the ship's interior is a charred mesh of burnt metal and debris. It feels like it could fall apart at any moment. The craft shudders as I head into the cockpit, where its black box projects footage of the ship's purpose and final moments. A diplomatic vessel attacked by a vigilant warrior race. Wars have been started by... By less. Oh, we've ran into this same message before. Let's boost the homing beacon so that we can get ourselves some more standing, and they always end up giving us a nice reward instantly, right? Yeah. That's a garbage reward, though. This game really needs to compensate you a bit better, but we ended up getting more of a standing with the Gek, which is definitely something that I would rather take over a resource that we probably already have. <laughs> Oh, what do we got here? I want to just take a quick peek at that. It's just... Ooh, it's a shop. Okay. Incoming storm. Incoming storm? Ooh, this storm is killing us quick. That's the first time we've ran into something like that. Dude, that is so neat. I love it. Hello, Mr. Robo Terminal. Do you sell anything special? Please tell me you sell a ton of iridium. That would be beautiful. Uh, no, just a bunch of weird things. Night crystals, that's strange. Gold. What about things that we can sell to him? We could sell aluminum, that's okay. Dynamic resin air, that's all right. Uh, let's get rid of this, even though we probably will need it at some point, that's okay. We'll sell that as well. Uh, these things are pretty handy, though. I've noticed that we need a lot of them for uh, some of the later tiered ship stuff that we may end up getting into in a little bit, but not for today. 
That guy's going in the opposite direction. Okay, so the storm is definitely killing us really, really quick. Wow. Get into our ship. Call it a day. Let's name some stuff. Okay, so we're going to name a planet. Kevin wanted us to call one KP, which I'm guessing is like a nickname for uh, himself personally. And then KKLL wanted us to name an animal. We didn't actually scan any animals in this system, so let's go back to our nano planet. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm kind of worried about is as we're getting to all these planets lately, we're not really running into that many creatures, and because of it, we don't really have that many to name Space Sheep. Um, he wanted us to name something Jugget McNugget Face. Man, I could go for some McNuggets. I might actually do that. Um, and then I'm also going to call this animal Spooderman. I think we already named something that, but honestly, I don't even remember. That's okay. Ew. Oh, it's a baby version of the big ugly monster that we found. Um, and then Meepy Star wanted us to name a planet. Thank goodness we still got one. Planet Pixel. Let's leave it with the typo, because honestly, who cares? <laughs> and uh, we're going to call it here. I guess we'll try and get to the ruins by the next episode, and then probably end up going to another system and maybe slowing down once we get to there, because that's already hopping from two systems. And uh, I do want to slow things down a bit again and start exploring planets in a bit more detail. But these ones though cool are not something that I could see us uh, being on for a very long time. Mostly we're hunting for Iridium and this system does not seem to have any unless I'm just getting very unlucky. I am assuming Iridium is going to end up being the same crystals as Plutonium though, just maybe green or blue or something like that because that's what Chrysonite is, is uh, just blue crystal. So I'm assuming the green one is probably Iridium, which we may have found one time before, but I honestly don't remember. Thanks for watching though, folks. Very much appreciate it. Sayonara and stay epic.